buried by time and dust. So we're going to go over two riffs, the first one being the main riff, and the second one being the core riff in the middle of the song. So we'll start with the first riff, the intro, and before we even start playing, I just want to go over the rhythm of the riff. So the rhythm goes one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. First note is played for two beats, and the others are for a single beat. So that's the rhythm. So it'll be boo do da do do da, and that's the general kind of timing and theory behind it. And now let's just talk about the frets and the strings we need to play now. So you got fifth fret on low E, seventh fret on A, then eighth fret on D. With tremolo picking, and then the second part of that riff, we flatten these two notes here. So instead of playing the 7th and 8th fret of A and D, we play the 6th and 7th. So it's... And there's the first part of the riff. Yeah, just remember, it's 4 picks every beat, so... Okay, and then the second half of that riff, you do the exact same thing, but just a fret higher. So it'll be 6, 8, and 9. And then 6, 7, and 8. So now going over the riff in the middle of the song, each note is played for two beats. So it starts off on the 9th fret of G, then the 10th fret of D, 7th fret of D, and 7th fret of A. The second half of that riff, quite straightforward, so it follows like a power chord shape. It's on the 8th fret of low E, 10th fret of A, take that same chord shape, move it back 2 frets, 6th on E, and then 8th fret on A. Again, 2 beats worth every note. So that whole riff played slowly. have any suggestions on what riffs or songs you would like covered um, please put them in the comments below and if you're wondering why the tone is a bit different today it's because I'm using a plugin called Amped Roots which you can download for free and it's great <laughs>